This is hydrogen tap one. This test is being conducted because of all the email I've gotten asking why I'm not using neutral plates. What I've got is a three plate arrangement here, positive, negative, positive. And we're going to test this out. Right now we're running at 12 volts at about 118 degrees. This is a three plate system and you can see the amount of hydrogen it's producing. So much so that if you look real closely you can see the fumes coming out. The reason a neutral plate shouldn't work is because by making a neutral plate in the center, what you've done is essentially put the two outer plates further apart. Right now, we're looking at the three plate system without the neutral. And you can see we're running at 12 volts at about 5 amps. In a moment, we'll take the center plate and make it a neutral plate. By doing that, what you're doing is making the plates on either end, having to find or go further from one plate to the other to produce the hydrogen. And of course, when you separate your plates, one from the other, what you're doing is lowering the amperage or power because there's not as much power going through the water because they're separated. I haven't been shown any proof to this, and now I believe I'm showing that I am right. I'll always accept anybody who can show me difference. I would love to see some magical system like that work, but it's not logical, and here we see the proof. What we're going to do is start it up with a neutral plate in the center. That means no power going through the neutral plate. When you start it up, we're going to see how much hydrogen it's going to produce. This is the same water, the same plates. The same voltage. We'll start it up here. One of the reasons I haven't been uploading as many videos is because I've been working on the Series 3L. And I will have pictures of that uploaded pretty soon. This is the neutral plate system. The two plates on either end are live, and the plate in the center is neutral, meaning no power going through it. As you can see, it's pretty easy to see that we're not getting as much hydrogen. The amperage went down, and the voltage stays the same. The reason the amperage goes down is because you can't put as much power through it because it's taking farther from one plate to the other, which gives us more resistance. When you have more resistance, you have less amperage. It takes more amperage or more power to produce more hydrogen. Now I am sure there is 